50,000 years is a lot of time to think. About me. About you. We were doing so well together. I suppose we were. Hey guys, I'm LB, and this is The Inquisition Part 2 by Serious Business, requested by Demon Arisen. And, uh, Nock is already way ahead of me on this series because of the way I schedule maps, but, uh, yeah, let's read the description. So, after the awakening of GLaDOS, you are taken through a testing track involving the Matter Inquisition Field, a yellow fizzler that blocks your portal shots and destroys cubes, but doesn't close portals. The portals gradually get, sorry, the puzzles gradually get more difficult as you make your way through to six fun-filled chambers, plus two extra bonus chambers. Right, I think this description is pretty much the same for each map, so let's just get started. GLaDOS seems to be very much not happy with us right now. Oh, right, we, get, we had the mono portal gun last time, so now we have the dual portal device. I think these are more of a gold than a yellow, personally, but, uh, you know, it's debatable. Hmm. Where do we want to go first? Well, seems like we can easily walk into the funnel, so that's good. Full-size funnel emitter. And just to save time as a shortcut, let's do this. There we go. That works. Hmm, I don't think this is gonna catch the cube, unfortunately. But that will. Alright, so now we've got the cube, we can just go with the cube. Protect it. And there we go. So now we got a cube. The cube can reverse the funnel for us. Not entirely sure exactly how we'd want to set this up though. There's only one cube, right? Yeah, it seems like it. Can we quickly walk off this button and shoot that? Probably? That might work, actually. I'm not sure how intended that is, but that's what I'm gonna do. Yep, that works. We're I... a lot alike, you and I. You tested me. I tested you. You killed me. I... Oh no, wait. I guess I haven't killed you yet. Well, food for thought. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. That feels a bit ninja movie to me. Right. Well, what do we have next? Ooh. Space plate. Lots of stuff making moving sounds that I can't actually see. I don't I don't know what was moving just then. Oh, I can't actually get in here? Oh, I can shoot a portal in there, that's for sure. What do we have going on here, huh? Okay then, well we have a radio playing music, so that's not good. We can place the portal there, so at least there's that much going for us. Let's go back downstairs real quick. What's in here? Not much, honestly. I'm not sure what the point of this is. Sure. It's a thing we can do, I suppose. And now it closes up. Because <laughs> of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Lots of fizzlers here. Don't tell me we're gonna have to... vault over them. Repeatedly, that's kind of annoying if so. That seems not so much a puzzle and really just of annoyance if so. If. What are you trying to tell me here? It's not even symmetrical! Well, anyway... 
What were we trying to do again? How high does the space plate launch me? About that high. Well, why are there... just fans in the wall? That doesn't seem normal. By any capacity of the word. What turns those off? Nothing? Seems like the answer is nothing. Nothing turns these off. Hmm. Well... Okay. There we go. Give me this. Let's go put this right approximately here-ish. I guess we are going to have to do the annoying thing that I said I didn't want to do. Just seems rather unnecessary. Oh, okay. Well, I'm up here now. So that's the thing I've done. somewhere else, actually. Let's go put the cube... Uh, approximately... right there. That should be fine. And thankfully I don't have to redo this part. Come on. There we go. There we go. And now we just take it to the exit, right? I don't really think that was much of a puzzle, personally, but... Did you know? I discovered a way to eradicate poverty. But then you killed me. So that's gone. Alright. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!